Yo, what's up guys, it's me, it's me, it's Action Figure Freak once again. And for this week I got the Keith Lee Elite Series 82. And I was pretty hyped when it came out. And yeah, after over two years, I finally have it. Like the most wrestling figure videos uh, that you will see in the next month, I think. So next few months. So as you can see, it's... Still from the damaged order for thousand dollars Which was pretty sad because I mostly put my figures like that on the shelf and put the figure in front of it Look at this look at this on a thousand dollar order with every figure and Just on four figures it didn't happen. So yeah, that's that's pretty sad, but whatever I'm interested in the insights so guys, this is the figure out of the box. We have two interchangeable hands for items, weapons, whatever. So yeah, and the other item accessory is here his vest. He had a interchangeable, not not interchangeable. Dang, he got a, a second version uh, with pink and silver jacket. So, pink was instead of the blue here, and instead of black, silver. Was cool, but I think this one is way cooler. So, this one is out of rubber plastic. You can open it, it moves pretty good. Better than the old shirts, I would say. So, yeah, but now going over to the figure. Uh, he got very much painted on him. So, the only attached piece would be the uh, knee pads. Here he got a arm piece uh, also printed and down here the pieces. Yeah, but that part that I want to mention, that face skin is pretty neat. I think it looks damn great. The body mold also is pretty good. Really like it. So I may could cut down here something on the chin so it doesn't look that off and it would move way better because now it doesn't really mm, but all in all it looks pretty okay so here he got Keith Lee on his back uh, or on the back of the pants here his posing he always does on his shorts the bask in the glory thing yeah here uh, but what I have to say about this figure, mm, so yeah, there are edge pieces that doesn't move that good, but for a pretty long time, I didn't have a figure that moves so well. So the arms are the least part of the movement, but here the belly piece moves and locks easily in. The hip joint is so damn smooth. I never had legs that moved perfect like this. Uh, same with the knees. I mean, the knee pad doesn't work that good on it, uh, but it's always like it. And it works pretty good. It, it feels pretty smooth. It doesn't feel like it gets loose. Also on the shoes here. So pretty cool. Uh, also, I gotta mention... Dude, look at these huge legs. Also that part here. I mean, I mean, just look at it. That's, that's massive. So yeah, I'm gonna put the jacket uh, on him and show it again. And yeah. So here we have been assembled with his jacket. And I have to say it closes not as that good oh, come on uh, the big part is here to take a knife or a toothpick and go between that gap you can't really cut anything really have to be close on that one but uh, you can easily squeeze it with a knife a little bit out come on come on it's a little difference when it's closed, but here you can see a little bit. I am perfectly in the gap and I can pull it like that inside. So 
that mostly works pretty good. Here we have the print of him with open arms. And then the bask in my glory on the back. And some kind of hood on the hoodie. So yeah, all in all I have to say this figure looks pretty fire. Really like it. And yeah, that's a, that's a great figure. Really like it. So I hope I see you end of the week. And yeah, this is everything for now.